a light in the neighborhood. Dear brothers, sisters and friends, our topic is on how to be a light in our context. How can we, where we live, be able to develop sensitivity to the pain and to the need of others? This topic is very important. The text presents us with three interesting scenarios related to being light in the neighborhood. Let us first read from Matthew 25, starting verse 31. When the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, then he will sit on his glorious throne. Before him will be gathered all the nations and he will separate people one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. And he will place the sheep on his right, but the goats on the left. Then the king will say to those on the right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and gave you drink? And when did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? And when did we see you sick or in prison and visit you? And the king will answer them, Truly, I say to you, as you did to one of the least of these my brothers, you did it to me. First, the event of the coming of the king is something glorious and sublime. We will see the king of kings in his coming. All the people and the entire cosmos will witness that event and be in awe of his greatness and glory. Secondly, there is a distinction between the king's sheep and those that are not. One group is at his right and the other at the left side of the king. The king addresses the sheep and encourages them with a motivating invitation, where he explains that there is a special place for them, the kingdom prepared by God himself from eternity. From before the foundation of the world, God chose in Christ Jesus the heirs of his kingdom. Before you knew him, God had placed his love on you. Before you were born, God had chosen you to be part of this kingdom of his beloved son. And before all things, God had designed the beauty, the happiness, the joy that will be present in that heavenly kingdom for those who truly love him. Nothing happens by chance. Finally, the king exposes a series of activities that this group of sheep will have carried out. The sheep are sensitive to the need of others. They take advantage of the opportunities that are presented to them, such as feeding the hungry, giving water to the thirsty, helping the foreigner, granting medicine to the sick, visiting the sick in the hospitals and visiting prisoners. What a challenge God presents to us through this King. Dear friends, we are called to be a light in the neighborhood. We cannot solve all the problems in the world. Jesus encourages us to share a drink or a meal, pay a visit to the sick or the prisoners. In doing so, we not only bless the needy, we also bless the soul of Jesus. As you did it with one of these my younger brothers, you did it to me. This is a special time for all humanity. We are all witnessing a threat that has brought pain, anguish and scarcity to all. It brings us, kingdom people, to the opportunity to be sensitive to others, to serve others. I wish to encourage you, dear brothers, to be a light in your community, in your neighborhood and in your sector. Make the best of this time and be part of the group that serves the needy. Comfort those that live in pain, those who live without God and to those who are in need of Christ. We cannot love Christ if we do not love others. How do we know that we love Christ? Because we seek to serve others. We do not only pray for them, but we serve them. We visit them when they are sick. We give them food when they are hungry. We cover their nakedness and so on. In other words, saving faith is translated into acts of love 
for our brothers and sisters. Be a light in your neighborhood.